So the day has come. We finally received our new Mercedes 170 4x4 Sprinter van. And I want to give you guys the full tour. Yes, if you follow me on Instagram, I gave a little bit of a tour there, but I want to give you guys, my YouTube subs, the full detail view. So, as you can see, we have this light gray. I don't know what the actual name of this gray is. It's just a stock Mercedes gray. We have 17 inch methods. Back here we have our water hookup because yes, this van is fully equipped and ready for camping. So it can plug up water here. We have a 25 gallon tank inside that we can fill up and use our sink or shower. In the back, we have a seven way for if we want to tow. We got the tow package. We got a step just to help my short self get in there. Over here we have shore power. So over at campsites, we can plug in and we're not using the batteries in the van. We can actually hook up to a proper power source and have unlimited power. Up top, we have an AC unit. We have four solar panels. And if you ask how that stuff works, I have no idea. I'm still learning. Before we go inside, let's take you around the back. Show you the garage space first. The new Sprinter vans also have full folding back doors, which is nice. My last van had like a little lever that you had to pull out to open up. So it's nice, the doors fully open up in this one. As you can see, bike storage, a light for when it's dark. So I got my race bike, got my dirt jump bike, got my mountain bike, two 10 by 10s with plenty more room to put more in. Over here, open this door, keep a bike pump. We have our 25 gallon water tank. We have our hoses to hook up at campsites. We have a shower. We bring these doors in like this. We have a shower curtain in there that connects here. Then we have a full shower right in the back of the van. Now let's take you inside. Inside. This one's a bit taller than the last van. We'll start right here. Willow seat. We don't want this seat in here. Pull these levers back. Seat comes right out. Plenty of room, but who are we kidding? We don't go anywhere without my girls, so this one stays. But what's also cool, you see it's on tracks. If it needs to go forward, you can move it all the way up here, put her there, and have access here. While we're here, we'll show you this. Pop this door up right here. This is actually our container for... Ew. It's just water. <laughs> so we got all our waste for the toilet. Put this back. So obviously, driver and passenger seat but in this van slide the seats forward flip the lever boom this one slide the seat forward flip the lever so now when we're on the road between motos i can sit here edit all these videos for you guys i have 110 outlets right here for my laptops phone usb whatever we need the fact that we can stand up now that's huge same cubbies. In case you're wondering, we have 10 cup holders. There's two up there, two on that side. There's four here. There's one on each door. Up here, a little hidden cubby. Yeah, just straight new car stuff, right? This is what we're looking at though. Right here, we have our cooktop. So when we're cooking, we'll pull this out. I don't really like to cook in here because I don't want oil and grease in the van. So that cooktop actually goes on the step down there. We have our sink. I should have put some water in that. Extra storage under the sink. We have our gray water waste tank. This is just water. Anything that goes through the sink goes here. So we can just dump that out. Plenty of room for storage. Mini refrigerator. There. Locking drawers so nothing opens up on the road. Utensils. Everything we need for a meal. Got these adventure wagon cubbies they bolt in and with that can act they can actually come off if needed they're all soft bags so if you hit your head on them or anything nothing's gonna hurt there's hooks everywhere in case you need to hook anything little carrying pouches here for more carrying pouches underneath there's literally little cubbies for all your little essentials fold up chairs for the pit space tuck those way over there well, what's behind it oh yeah behind it is above my pay grade but this is all my information needed for my batteries. There's two or three batteries on board, I believe. The solar panels constantly charge this. Yeah, I haven't quite understood everything there yet, so we're still learning. Over here, 
I try to utilize any little space I can. Like over here, we have the broom, we have an umbrella, we have my little handheld vacuum. Over here, I have an extra fold-up chair just to have spare. I want to use, I like to use any little open areas for just random stuff. Behind me, yes, we have the toilet. For when you got to go on the go. Nice, convenient, and it can also be used as a seat beltless fourth seat. Another little cubby for toiletries. Bed, AC. Blowing nice and cold because it's such a big van. The main AC up front, it's not gonna feel all the way back here. So they put an AC for us. So my girls are nice and comfy when we're all sleeping at the BMX races. Our custom roof pack. Actually, don't know what this panel is unless it's just a cool light. We can actually sit up in this one now, which is a huge game changer. Ew. Oh, it's just sweat, baby. That's it. You're so sweaty. I'm so, I feel disgusting now. This is this is just for being inside here with no air airflow. It's literally cool. It's Alabama. I think that's a wrap on the tour. Time to load up. We head across country to Salt Lake City, Utah tomorrow. So we're gonna load this thing up and then I'm sure by that point we're gonna find out a lot more about where we're gonna store everything and how we're actually gonna stay overnight. Cause we're gonna go two weeks on the road, living out of the van. It's our first official time properly van lifing it, not just traveling, so. So yeah, next stop, Utah. Again, this is my 2021 2500 4x4, 170 wheelbase, Sprinter van. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.